Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman, and I love talking about surveyors, getting licensed, and having an awesome career. Well, one of my first topics I'd like to talk about in this series is the one thing everybody wishes they knew before taking the FS exam. And it's funny because when I get repeat examinees calling me, they're shocked about this. But I hear it a million times, and I'm still surprised most people don't know about it. And that is the difference between the morning and the afternoon sessions. When you sit down to take the FS exam in the morning, you're expecting a lot of different stuff. Legal aspects, survey comps, statistics, processes, all this stuff. But really, there's two separate exams you're going to take. And those two separate exams are the morning and the afternoon. They're very, very different from each other. Why is that? I have no idea. But that's how the exam works. So when people go into the morning exam, they take it, they get their butts kicked because it's a tough morning session. And then they expect to go back in in the afternoon and do the exact same thing. But the types of questions on the FS morning are typically completely different from the types of questions in the afternoon. So what are those differences? Well, you go in in the morning, you're gonna get a, a lot of math, a lot of survey computations, and a lot of statistics. So trig, matrix algebra, regular algebra, little calculus, all this stuff. I mean, it's like getting punched in the face because you've got all these math questions back to back to back. Now you will have some other stuff mixed in, so don't expect all math questions, but the majority is math or computations. On the other hand, you take your break, you relax, you get some lunch, and then you go in for the afternoon. Well, the afternoon is legal aspects, boundary determination, types of surveys, all the soft stuff that doesn't really require many calculations. You will have some, but there won't be a lot. But it's really more of the higher level principles as opposed to crunching numbers. Now, why is this a problem? Well, it's a problem because a lot of people go through, they say, okay, I've got so many minutes for this exam, I'm gonna cut those minutes in half, and I'm gonna spend half in the morning, half in the afternoon. Well, that may not be a great strategy for most people because obviously the afternoon session is going to take longer than the morning session. So, if you're struggling with the morning section, I recommend spend more time in the morning, maybe like 60 to 65% of your time, take your quick break, and then spend the rest of the time in the afternoon. Because the morning session, although it's an equal number of questions to the afternoon session, is going to take you longer. So what I'm telling you to do is to use your understanding of the exam to your advantage. Understand the morning session will take longer to crunch the numbers than the afternoon session will take to answer the principles. So make sure that when you take your morning session, you understand that it's going to be a tougher exam for most people because of all those computations. And that is the one thing that every surveyor should know about the fundamentals of land surveying exams.